Hello, readings and salutations, universe. This is Krita, and in this episode, we're gonna go in a completely different direction, uh, because I want to. Uh, Ender IO is fun, but I feel like I'm I'm delving a little bit too far into the mod, and we really need to delve into a slightly different mod, mechanism. Yes, yes. Let's get to it. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! No! 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 This. Do you see this? No grave. What on earth? I swear there's like some bug going on for me where if I die, especially right around here, on the or just anywhere above the nether roof, uh, no graves are appearing and my items aren't dropping. <laughs> well, in that case, I think we need to make a few more of these. I just had four in my inventory, right? I came back here, it was still on the crafting table because I could have made a bunch, but four more. All these resources down the drain. If this had been interactions, I would have been really peeved. Uh, but in this game, resources are super easy to get. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, uh, one of the main goals that I have is a wind generator. I want to see how good this fellow is right? Uh, I have no idea. I've never even used this. And that's what this mod pack is all about. And someone gave a comment by uh, Scooby Dude. He recommended this. So of course, we have to listen. I'm going to go for that. And to make this little fella, we're going to need quite a little bit of stuff, right? We need some redstone being put on osmium. And this is redstone being put on iron. So mostly just that. Um, and these energy tablets, which is again more of that stuff, along with some gold, which is really good <laughs> that uh, we made a mob farm last episode. What's really bad is uh, I keep dying on accident, whoopsies, and my super picks and swords keep going missing. So I might have to move the enchanting setup to get there. Uh, or at least go check if there is some gold. In the meantime, we're going to set up these metallurgic infusers and let's see if we can get some like uh, energy pipes. What, what are the energy pipes in here? Is it the cable? I believe so. For this, we just need some steel from thermal foundation or accepts any steel. So we have steel, right? We have steel. We made steel. We need to make some steel. Hmm. Let's see, T, T, no T. We need steel. Let's take a look at what we can do to make some steel. Alloy furnace, pulverized coal. Hey, that's easy. Uh, we just need two of those to get eight. You know, make a few. A few of them, that'll be good. That'll be good and wonderful. Oh, I've been I've been listening to some amazing comedians and oh, there's one. I'm gonna try and put a little caption here for him. He is this hilarious, hilarious uh, comedian from Scotland. And he says, good, in this really specific manner. And I love it so much. I'm gonna make some steel and we'll be right back. In the meantime, I found some gold at the, ne at the nether place. We didn't even need to bring any swords. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this steel takes ages to make, but we could maybe uh, delve a tiny bit into industrial, or not, back into Ender IO just for a moment to maybe upgrade that machine, or at least uh, think about it. Let's take a look. Can we dye this? Oh, I need to fix a hotkey. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, machine chassis. Boom, industrial. Oh, alloy smelter as well. This thing is just gating me so hard. Uh, back to me mechanism pipe. Cable. Can we make you? We can, cool. So these cables are really powerful. Look at that. This is a basic cable and it can transport killa RFs. 1,280 1, RFs per tick, which this thing, uh, it makes like, what, 30 RF per tick? Hardly anything. Mechanism is pretty overpowered. Um, but 
I'm okay with that. It doesn't bother me. Uh, yes, please. Um, Ender.io has a little bit easier pipes to work with, maybe. Um, but, oh, yeah. We'll go with carrots. What do carrots do? Um, let's see what this actually does. So this is 24 RF a tick. These will move plenty more than that. Uh, oh, just slap that, put that, boom. Yeah, full immediately. Uh, we'll put in some redstone. These machines are pretty nifty. You put in the reagent or whatever, the stuff you're gonna stick on other stuff right in there. And then we take something like iron. Oh, there's some more steel. We take some iron and toss it in here. And now it's gonna work, right? Yada 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 da 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 do do da do 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 da do 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 and metallurgic infuser makes things like enriched alloy. Sweetness. And back to mechanism. Let's take a look at what we're going after again. We have one of these. We need four more of these. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. Some osmium, slap that on there, boom. And there we are, the wind generator. Cool beans. Uh, whoa, that's a lot, of, a lot of quests to accept, or a lot of goodies. Lots of goodies, rats. Uh, apparently we looked at a rat. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have a doctor. Ooh, we have a mask. I like that. Miscellaneous, I did make some of that. No idea what this stuff is. Uh, chisel, yeah, all the chisel blocks. Whew, uh, it's good fun stuff. Ooh, we made all sorts of things. Yeah, I found a thing that could make us fly. Feather falling would be very useful. Quarries. I made something that can quarry? I did? When? <laughs> what? I don't think I made anything that can quarry. Uh, but okay. Sure. <laughs> We did make a mob uh, thingamabobber, so that makes sense. Apparently we found some little crystal D dudes. Valid item. Yeah, cool. Get all, cool. Yeah, I love the quest rewards. All of this stuff is lots of fun. Golden apple, radi radiation, all that for a drop of blood. Huh, okay, we'll have to look at this mod. Um, there's a lot that comes from it, and I find it really interesting. We did make a cursed farm, so that makes sense. Compress each block. Why? Why would I want to? I know I can store it like that, but who would want that much like cobblestone just for giggles? Yeah, I made a furnace. Yes, yes. What else? Oh yeah, we just made some mechanism things. Ooh, yeah, well, hmm. Make a metallurgic infuser. We already did that. We kind of skipped the burnables to lava to power. Whoopsie daisies. Oh, it gives us some elite. Bloody hell. That's some good cable right there. Not objecting at all. Capacitors, glowstone something, ender fluid. Yeah, I like I like uh, ender IO. That's why we jumped in there first. A giant. Oh, yeah, and I lost all my soul vials. Fun, fun. Um... I don't think I want to mess with a giant, so we're going to just tuck that in there, and we're going to find a spot to just dump everything else. Though, obviously, we're going to put on this cool mask. <laughs> oh, I got goggles still. <laughs> ah, all my stuff. Give me my stuff. Uh, what did we get? Decay, boring, magnetic, pretty good. Um, automatically pick stuff up. That was really useful, so I might try and figure out a way to... Can we just put that on right now? On this little dark pick? Oh, yes! Good! And there we go. Just put stuff away. Little fox? Maybe this is cooler? Oh, <laughs> a little fox. I like a little fox. Uh, yes. So now we have a whole bunch of magic stuff. We're pretty prepared for a farm craft, in my opinion. And now we can take a look at this wind generator. Where are we going to put you? Probably on the roof. That's, that seems like a logical place to put something that gathers wind. Is somewhere there is wind. Uh, can't really see the wind, but that's not going to bother me. Oh, that's cool. I, I'm not sure how much of a fan I am that it pumps it out the 
side it looks. That's a little wonky. So, hmm. Like, I do want it to go down into my base that way. Yeah, that'll work. And it did give me some pretty crazy cables. I'm going to hook that up, and we'll be right back. Okay. Uh, I did not like how this was going to be wired. So what we really need is a machining table. Or machining uh, prefab tower table thing. Yeah. Uh, for that, we need more stone. And while I could make the use the awesome, awesome, awesome trick of using like granite and diorite and andesite, uh, I, I kind of want it to be automated, you know? So let's figure out some sort of furnace that we can use the newly fa found uh, stuff to cook it, right? That should be easy. Um, and it so happens that I tossed in that uh, die, the industrial die. So we should be able to make an alloy uh, thing of a bobber, smelter, boom, right? That, that can make goodies. And I think, I think one, once we have like a cobblestone, we can go back to the, uh, to the nether, grab that cobblestone generator and start getting infinite stone and use that infinite stone to make that. Gimme please. Thank you. So the alloy smelter, it needs some sort of capacitor. Uh, I happened to make some because I was working on making those cool little upgradey doodle empower thingamabobbers. Uh, so I have some. You know, put that in there. And this is just going to power this directly until we get a machining uh, tower. I could work in there, but I feel like that's just so cool as a warehouse. I just want more prefabs and slap a the thingamabob there and boom, cobblestone turning into stone very fast. And it looks like it's eating up energy a little bit faster than I'm getting it, but this is going to give me all the cobble, all the stone I need. And we have this little cool time in the bottle, which I've made for the third time now. And we're just gonna accelerate you and accelerate you. Whee! Let's take a look now. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, we're gonna be right back with some triple compressed stone. So I'm chugging away here, right? And I just notice these faces whenever you're in, an, in this alloy thing. It's not in another machine, and it's not in the normal world. It's only when you're in Ender IO. That's super creepy. I thought something was casting a spell on me. Ooh. So I think the amount is somewhere around 11 point something stacks so that should do that should do nicely let's uh let's take a look triple compressed stone you know get some stone there we go slap that in there uh triple double sure there's nine that's a good number there's that one sweet think all we need is the machining table maybe we can just I fixed the hockey so this does work now all we need is some powered rail that is not a problem at all or is it do we not have any wood left oh. <laughs> that's pretty funny where's my gold gold okay gold is in there Whew, that was a close call. Machining uh, tower sounds like so much fun. Hopefully it is. Boom, machining tower. This prefab stuff, I know I said it in the first episode, is just phenomenal. Um, ah, creeper. No, I, I feel like all my stuff's breaking right now, so I don't, oh geez. We'll be right back when it's daytime. That's a pretty big preview. Look at that, heck yeah. Uh, I totally forgot what block this was actually on. Uh, preview? Okay, so I click right here. Build! And we even have a total of a one gap space in between here. That is terrible. Hmm. Oh well, too late! <laughs> so, we now have an excellent spot to set up our turbine. 
Hello, wind turbine. We might make a few of you. Uh, I was testing that and paying attention to the power consumption. Uh, it makes a reasonable amount. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm a happy camper. All we need to do is take it over yonder. And hmm, we might want to make some more universal cable. But, you know, for now the roof will do. We just did that as a proof of concept on our little hovel. But I think we're going to be spending more time in here. Well, there was a ladder. I could have used that. This is very bright. Whew. All right. Let us slap this down. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not an odd number. So we're going to need to make more of these one way or another. Gonna find you. Gonna. Okay. Basic cable. Slap that down. And now we have a basic setup for all sorts of machines. And that powers it really well. This even kept its inventory. That is awesome. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Clap. Oh, that's saluting. Clap. Cheer. Uh four. <laughs> there we go. Clap. Oh <gasps> the wind generator can charge the pickaxe. <laughs> oh, that is excellent. Heck yes. Uh, so again, this guy is now going to be taking 70% less damage and it has unbreaking. So our dark, dark pick is going to be hecka useful. Uh, Fortune 3, Efficiency 4, it even gives us more experience because of EXP Boost 3 and Insight 2. This wind generator is proving to be so fantastic. Thank you again, Scooby Dude. You're the best uh, for suggesting this. We're gonna be powering a very large and awesome room here. I just wish it was odd. Like, uh, a, a room should be even in one direction and odd the other direction so that you can have a center block as far as like at least one way. And sometimes, even just having it be odd both ways is good and you offset the door so it's not awkward uh, if it's you know if it's over here then it's asymmetrical in a nice way whereas if it's in the center on an odd thing with a double door that's that doesn't look very good oh I'm actually not sure what to do now let's take a look at the quests be right back. the feed the beast creators I have to give you guys a shout out because the uh, the references, oh, they are on point. Sparky, Sparky, boom, man. <laughs> you tell the bio stories. Oh, I do? Thank you. I haven't told any stories yet. Maybe we should fix that. In the meantime, because we have that machining tower, it's time to get a move on. Uh, specifically, move on out of here. Yes, indeed. I am feeling so cramped in here, and that's my own fault. It, it really is. Uh, but it it's time to move along, and we, we've outgrown this little awesome, very cool hovel. But uh, yeah, no, it, 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 it's time to go. So let's go across the street, past this creeper, Hello, sir. Woo! Oh, I love the no explosion thing. Uh, keeping in mind that that is only on claimed chunks. So in this space. Oh, we better better expand that. Yeah, keep that in mind, Karita. Keep it in mind. Ugh. Uh, we'll be able to place that, place that, place that, place that. I don't know how this works. Do we just right click? Oh, that's cool. Perfect. We need the big chest with all the good stuff. You need to be last. So we'll probably just move you guys around. No tool, yeah, whatever. You go here, you go here, shift, shift. And then we can place down the crafting station. I am glad they gave us this. Uh, with this, we're able to do all sorts of fun things. Is there anything in the alloy smelter? Why do we still have a simple alloy smelter? That's really confusing. 
Um, let's see what we can do with this configurator or with the sag mill. Cool. Now we have a, an upgraded sag mill. So as many of you may know, my favorite color is green. And for green to go green means you need more wind. <laughs> These things are fantastic. It's a shame that the advanced universal pipes aren't green uh, because the green, the basic ones are. I feel that's quite backwards. Green, green should be the best. I get purple. I think purple is the elite or blue. Um, purple kind of makes sense as like a royal color, but uh, I feel like green is also a is, should be respected. Hmm. Um, this there's probably a nicer way to set up this power line buffer right now. This will do quite nicely. <laughs> there's def I, I'll, I'll definitely go under the the roof just a little bit, dip down and then go under. Um, between episodes, but for right now, this is going to do just perfectly. Let's bring this cable down, and now we have all the power we're going to need for quite some time. Can I make it with a chest? Hey, yeah. Whoa, that is beautiful. And now we can put it together with our stuff that we got from Ender.io, along with our new machines that we've got from Mechanism. So far, all we have is infusers, but I think we'll be able to make some much more interesting and fun machines very soon. Whew. Yeah, and by the way, I made so many of these because you want to have pretty much one for redstone, one for uh, coal, one for something else there's there's quite a few things right so there's the coal one for diamond one for redstone i think that's everything right oh the compressed obsidian so i think four is the magic number at least for me um, i always seem to use four of them and uh and that's how many we have i don't know where the other one is it has gone missing there it is um we're gonna set this up a little bit nicer but I'm just laying out all of our amazing machines that we now have. The sag mill needs a capacitor. There we go. Um, we'll probably need an energy buffer in case the wind dies down. I don't know if that's a thing. Um, I imagine that these things do uh, give a varied amount of power, but it seems to also be that every time I click on it, it's 384. So who knows? Um, I'm super happy. These charge my dark pick. I have power for days. This was such a good recommendation. Thank you again, Scooby Dude. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this series. I hope the universe, uh, anything that watches this, whether it be alien, human, whatever, you know, I hope you're having a good time. But for now, this has been Krita. This has been Feed the Beast University. Have a fantastic day. Bye.